Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here I am again on Ostrave. I hope you saw the first video. it give you a good insight as to where this game's going and, and where it is at the moment. Uh, I mentioned in the first video that when the houses get built and the families move in, their tents disappear. So you can see where there used to be tents here, there and there, and uh, people have moved into these houses, which is fantastic. Um, today I'm going to be looking at farming a little bit and maybe fishing so let's have a look where do I want to go with this now we've got carpentry have we got carpentry do we need carpentry wagons and plows maybe I do at some point but I don't think I need them just yet um, should we go for the boatyard no let's go for the farm let's just get a farm going now I think with the farm you need a bit of space around it for fields so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the... F oh, there's a building there, isn't there? I don't really want to put it somewhere where I can't put a load of fields around it. I'm going to put the farm... You know what? It's going there. That's where the farm's going. That's where the farm is. Alright, we're going to leave it for now because the the guys will go off and get wood and things and they're already building a load of houses There's one almost finished down there that one's not far off as well there we go it's another house built so that'd be another family moving in which is another tent abandoned which tent's going to be abandoned I reckon this one do you think maybe maybe not I don't know if they take the tent down or if it just disappears or uh, tent it's got a couple of people living in it this one family's moving to a house so there you go so what happens to the tent oh they actually take it down I think they do take it down I think uh, I've got the animation set well I've got the game set really quick at the moment just so we can get through some building phases and, and hopefully show you some of the farming which is the goal of this video and then uh, so we couldn't quite see them taking the the actual tent down but I think they did is that like a, a clay fireplace or something there I wonder I wonder if uh, I'll have to just bear with me one second while I do this so sorry about that I uh, I just had to nip away to the front door uh, dreadful isn't it middle of recording something somebody at the door so you might have seen a little uh, glitch in the video there. Although I did pause the game and whatnot. Right, so. Families, building. You're nearly built. You're very, very nearly built, aren't you? Which family's going to move in? I want to see this animation for taking a tent down. There we go. Which family's moving? That one's moving to a house. That one. So that's her. Show path. Oh, we can show path. Ah, <laughs> I don't want to follow. Uh, find home. Well, it'll show to that, won't it? And you know what? The same blokes at the door. Just bear with me. I'll be back in a second. Hello again. <laughs> Sorry about that. The thing is, right, it, it's it's in November at the moment, and it's it's getting close to what's now known as Black Friday, which is... Uh, it usually lasts for about a week so I think people are just ordering things and they're getting delivered and because I'm actually recording during the day because uh, I work shift work I, I get all the deliveries for all the neighbours because there's nobody else in right come on come and take this house down I want to see this are you coming car is empty no he's going back up there right I want, I want to see somebody take this, this tent down because the family's moving out where are you going? there's nobody in there is there? like hiding away come on where are you all going? education one of five she's sitting down he's sitting down 
Comely, he's called. He's going to this house. Now, you're not moving out, are you? So where's the guy who lives here? You live there. There's no day and night cycle, as far as I'm aware, either on this yet. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's got his cart. He's got his cart. Ooh, don't mess this up now. <laughs> oh, it just dissolves. Oh, I thought I was going to see him, like, taking bits down. Ah, oh, that's all right. I mean, the fact that they actually do that and they come to the house and take stuff away in a cart is fantastic. Uh, you know, what's that on the fence there? What is that? What is that? Is it like candy floss or something? It's a kebab. <laughs> I swear, it's a big kebab on his fence. What is it? I have no idea what that is. Is it like an upside down bottle or something? I can't zoom in any closer, I'm afraid. I, I have no idea what it is. But there's something orange on his fence. And it looks like an upside down jug or something. <laughs> Anyway, let's speed the time up. The, the house is getting built. Tents are disappearing. We're getting these um, lines of desire. These desire lines appearing, which is fabulous. See, a nice little street down to the beach where you can go bathing and whatnot. Uh, farms going on there, which will be great eventually. So, guys, come on, hurry up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep building. Keep building. And then we're, we've obviously got a big hole in the middle, so we're going to put maybe some market stalls in there, maybe a granary or something, hold some grain. This will be cool, won't it? Now I know that some people will be will be going, oh, put the houses in line, put them straight, put. And the thing is, I I can see a benefit to that. I can see that for a lot of people the symmetry is important but I think that when you get like these old medieval villages a lot of them weren't placed you know in, in a in a straight line and things they were hit right I'm gonna live here you know and this is my bit of land I'll have this bit of land I'm gonna build my house here and that was it and it, it was a case of you know you put your house up and put a little in the old days they didn't have fences they just had a house it was originally like round barrows and things they, they were just dotted where you placed your house and um, that's all it was I mean I don't know how what sort of year these sort of buildings were built I know it says 1721 up there but you know they look a bit well finished I don't know how, I suppose in 1721 you would have had uh, thatched roofs like that so yeah, yeah. Go. Oh. It sounded like the seven dwarves there. Oh, you missed the animation for the people carrying the log. That's, that's a good one. You get two guys going out, one gets one end and one gets the other end. It's fantastic. Right. So, we've still got a worker in there. We've got two guys there. Now, right, are you... Yeah, look, look, look at that, look. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? How fabulous is that? That's a great thing. <laughs> nice job. I don't know the name of the guy who's developing it. Well, obviously he's, he's um, oh, we're missing something here. Can't find thatch anywhere. Okay, so we're going to need a thatcher. So, a thatchery. So let's build a thatchery. So uh, we can pop the thatchery in here, can't we? So let's just rotate it a little. We want to have maybe tucked in nicely there. Whoa, beautiful. So you, we're going to get to a point where it can't build the houses anymore because it needs thatch. And it can't build the farm because it needs thatch. And I can't prioritise it, can I? I could put a labourer in. Actually, I can't actually click any of these boxes. So I can't. I can't prioritise it. All I could do is pause the other buildings. But what's happening is it's getting to a point where they're saying, well, we've built it, but we can't finish it because there's no thatch. So what they'll do is they'll build that, can't finish it, no thatch. 
they might even start the farm can't finish blah 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 etc etc and then they'll get onto this because there'll be nothing else to build although I think have they dropped some wood there or yep there's already wood there I don't know whether that's just because I disturbed some trees in building the place but it looks nice doesn't it looks good I don't know what that is on the fence what's that nails oh it's a bucket of nails <laughs> I wonder what that was. I thought it's not clay. Clay's orange. You can see them getting the clay out of here because they're having to walk all the way around and I can't delete it. <laughs> it's annoying me. Look. There we go. A couple of bits of clay going into the house there. Pretty soon this one will be at a stage where they can't do any more because reasons. Well, um, I was hoping to start with the farming, and I know that pretty soon we're in sort of September, -y. September, and um, <laughs> we're in sep September. I'm going to put my glasses on here. September, yeah, it says September. I can't read. You know, yeah, I, I, I actually can't read. Well, I can read. No, I can read. But um, my eyesight's bad close up, and that's really quite small writing for me. Um, I'm alright with my glasses on, I just don't wear them all the time. It does say September, not September. September. So, yeah, I was hoping to get to show you some of the farming. Um, when it gets to winter, obviously, you can't farm because there's snow on the ground, and there will be snow on the ground. Um, so we can't quite get to that just yet. Oh, there's something about farming as well that we need to look at. Oh, 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 yeah. When I mentioned crop rotation, eh? It'll get some of you excited, won't it? Right, we need a thatcher. It's the first time I've ever said that. We need somebody working in there. We've got a worker. We've got a worker. There he goes. I, I don't know where he's getting his raw materials from, but he's doing it. Oh, it's from reeds. Oh, I'd known that. And I put him nearer the water. <laughs> the poor bloke's got to walk miles now. <laughs> I thought it was hay or something. He's using reeds. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. At least now they'll be able to finish these buildings, which means that these tents will disappear from the middle. So what else have we got here? Uh, a camp centre. Brilliant. Oh, there's a mayor. He lives in that tent. Um, storage. See, once I build a storage thing, that'll disappear. I don't know if the car park will disappear. Uh, that's family, that's family, that's family. The campfire, I don't know if that goes or not. But certainly the well, I don't think... we. Oh, you can demolish the well, so you can move the well. That's interesting. Okay. You can demolish your well. What do you do? Just fill it in. Seems a bit odd. But there you go. That's good. Right, I think uh, I'm going to have to leave it there. We're getting to the stage where the farm is being built now. And it looks like we've got everything, or we will have everything to finish it. Certainly the thatcher is doing his job down here. And the farm needs a little bit towards the end of the build. And uh, that will all be in the next video. I hope you're enjoying it. It's a great looking game. It's um, It shows a lot of promise. I hope to carry on in the next video and get those farms going. Or at least this one farm. And I'll be able to show you that and we'll maybe build a granary. And then maybe after the winter's done, because I don't think we're going to do it before winter, we'll look at the fishing because the water's going to freeze over as well. I think. I don't know if it freezes or, or what. But we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Um, hope you're enjoying it leave any comments you wish that'd be great and in fact if there's any other games like this uh, now I've played Banished before so don't mention that one but if there's any other games like this that you know of let me know because uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to have a look at some other games that are similar to these sort of medieval village building things um, and they might be in early access and things like that that's fine I'm quite happy with that 
Um, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope to see you next time. My name's Backblast. See you later.